Guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take these grapples behind me, put them in the field, and put them to the test. If you didn't see the last video, these are two options here that do not require hydraulics. So we're going to take these grapples over to my house and try them out there. I do have some brush. I've got a tree that I had to cut up earlier this year. We're just going to try them out on a few different things there and get a feel for them. This is going to be my first time using these grapples, so do not make fun of me. But it could be good for a laugh. So you're going to see one in this video that was not in the last video. This one that's on the Kubota right here in the middle. This is the BC4300 by Wessendorf. The Brush Crusher BC4300. This is what's going to go on a skid steer quick attach version. So whether it's Kubota, Massey, Mahindra, Coyote, LS, any of those brands, even John Deere's that have the SSQA skid steer quick attach, this gray model in the middle here will fit it. So you are going to see these grapples mounted on subcompact tractors. But do not fear, these are going to work with other models as well. On the WorkSaver electric grapple over here, you're good up to 32 horsepower. So that's a lot of your 2 series as well as your 1 series, and even some of your 3E series, like the 3025E, 3032E. And to be honest, I probably wouldn't be too concerned about a 303080 as well, but I know that's pushing the limits. So the brush crushers, on the other hand, have no horsepower constraint on them. They're going to be good for all your subcompacts and compact tractors. Whether it's John Deere, you're going to get a green one like that over there, otherwise a gray with a SSQA. Let's talk about weights here really quick. We'll just do a quick recap. The green brush crusher over here is going to weigh about 238 pounds. The gray brush crusher right here is going to weigh around 285, 290 pounds. Our work saver grapple right here is going to weigh in at about 240 pounds. You can also get this in the SSQA to fit on your Kubotas as well. And again, the Masseys, the Coyotes, all the other brands out there that use SSQA. There's an electric version for that. We have those as well. Lastly, Brush Crusher has one additional model out now. I have some of them on order, so you could be one of the first ones to get it through Goodworks Tractors. It's going to be the BC-4215. The only difference is that it's going to have another set of these teeth. Another set of the jaws right in the middle here. So instead of a big gap, you're going to have a third set of teeth, top and bottom right here. Pretty sweet. Be aware that it's going to increase the weight. So on the subcompacts, that's something you want to be aware of. As you get larger and larger in series, weight isn't as big of a concern. However, 1, 2, and those small 3 series, weight is still a concern with your loader. So be conscious, be aware of that, and keep that weight low as much as possible. So that BC4215 will weigh in around 284, 285 pounds, right in that ballpark. Guys, if you wouldn't mind, hit that subscribe button below. Just really quick, hit subscribe and then head on over to goodworkstractors.com. I can sell you one of these grapples here. I can sell you a brush crusher. In fact, I can put together a tractor and attachment package for you. Help out with financing and delivery too. So I want to point out a quick difference here between the John Deere model here and the SSQA model, okay? You're going to see on this John Deere model how the stop here is making contact with the bottom of the loader arm. So over here on the SSQA model for your Kubotas and everything else, you're going to see this is not going to make contact with the bottom of the loader arm. So there is a stop and it's kind of hard to see, but you might be able to see this piece of steel right here has some built in grooves to it. And so that is what's acting as a stop and doesn't allow it to go or to open any further down. So while it does still have the stop here, and it may come into play on other models. Just note that on this BX series, for instance, it's not going to come into play and make contact with the bottom of the loader arm. You're also going to see pre-drilled holes on the BC4200. And what that's for is if you want to add on a set of middle teeth down the road, you're able to do so. The earlier generations of the BC4200 would require you to drill these holes out if you wanted to add the center teeth, but now they're rolling that into the production process, even for the base BC4200, so you have that option in the future. So the electric grapple is going to come obviously with the grapple itself as well as the wiring harness that's going to come all the way back here and allow you to tie in a thumb control on your loader joystick and then route it right into the battery terminals on your battery and get it all hooked up. There's more than enough cord and in fact you're more than likely going to be figuring out what to do with the extra cord to tie it up and keep it out of the way. And the manual is pretty helpful as well with some pictures of different setups and how things were configured and tied up. Alright guys, next stop over at the house. We'll see you there. We're going to try out the WorkSaver grapple. I've got a, a debris pile over there. It's leaves, it's sticks, it's cuttings, it's cardboard boxes, whatever I wanted to burn kind of stacked up there. I want to see how that does pushing along the ground and also grabbing it and picking it up. I also have a Christmas tree here that still has not been burned yet. And then over on this side here, I've got a tree that actually fell down this uh, summer or early fall and I kind of hacked it up. 
and I used my 4066R earlier in the fall to push everything back there, so I'm hoping I can get this tractor back there and kind of grab onto some of those chunks of log or whatever else. We'll just see how it goes, and we'll give you a little bit of in-action shots here. And again, this is my first time using this thing, so go easy on me.
Okay, so first impressions out here in the field. It really operates like a traditional grapple wood, albeit slower. That clamping action with the electric actuator definitely is slower to respond. However, it's not as bad as it was when I was at the shop and just trying it out, pushing the button down and watching it close and then open back up pretty slowly. When you're out here in the field, you're not actually moving around that fast and doing things that fast. At least I'm not. I want to maintain control and so I'm going deliberately slow. For me, the slower movement to open and close really isn't that big of a deal. I thought it was gonna be a bigger deal than it ended up being, and really wasn't a big deal at all. You know, you also had that additional third function that you're using, because you still have the two loader functions with raising and lowering the loader, and then rolling or curling the bucket, you know, or the grapple in this case. And then on top of that, you have the open and close function of the grapple itself. So that's pretty sweet. And so it does clamp really tightly. I did hear from WorkSaver that it has a thousand pounds of force. That clamping force is a thousand pounds. That's pretty significant. The other feature that I really like about this WorkSaver grapple is gonna be this bottom jaw. And that really allows it to act almost as a rake on the front of your machine to be able to push debris, push sticks, leaves, whatever it is, even do a little bit of grading work with that bottom jaw and just kind of sweep along. Again, I was a little bit undecided at the shop before putting one of these things in the field the lack of a bottom jaw there to kind of scoop underneath and clamp onto something. I wasn't sure how that would go. However, I like the versatility that this flat bottom jaw offers. Okay, so we're back out here now with the brush crusher. It is the next day. It was getting too dark and too cold for me yesterday. So we're back out here. Got the BC 4200 again. You can get this for the skid steer quick attach. You can get it with the middle teeth as well. We're gonna go ahead and try out the same piles here, the, the brush pile, the Christmas tree, the logs that I have up there and anything else I feel like picking up. I think it is going to perform a little bit differently than the work saver. I don't know how it's going to do scraping along the ground. We'll see how it does grabbing onto things and grabbing onto the brush piles as well. We'll go from there. So one of the things I'm learning here pretty quick with the brush crusher is that this bottom jaw here is going to definitely determine how you're using it. So if you want to really have more of a, a vertical drop here to allow things once you release the clamp to just drop off, you're going to need to adjust this position here so that it opens wider, so that this, this gap here is wider and therefore this bottom jaw is slanted more towards the ground this way it'll allow an easier release of the debris, log, branches, whatever it is that you have in here to just kind of fall out. Otherwise, you can see it is, it's not parallel, but it's fairly close to the ground. And so things almost have to have a little momentum, whether you're going forward and stopping, or if you are uh, shaking the loader joystick a little bit there, just to kind of encourage things to fall off if they're not already gonna do so.
So this brush crusher is going to excel at picking up logs, picking up big piles of debris, branches, that kind of thing, when you can get both jaws to clamp down on it. If you are going to be going into a pile of grass and leaves and little bits of stuff here and there, you are going to get a good amount in either jaw, but what's in between there is really going to fall down and not be collected. So if you plan on picking up a lot of little brush piles like that just to move around, whatever it might be, even scrape along the ground, for instance, then you may be better off getting the version that has three sets of teeth, so you have that middle set of teeth as well, or even going with the work saver, that electric grapple that I showed you that has the entire bottom jaw that's almost sitting you know, um, perpendicular to the ground, and so you can just kind of scrape along. However, I really love the clamping action here, especially on the larger logs like you saw. It does a really good job picking those up, securing them. The other benefit to the brush crusher that I see is how tight it keeps those loads to the front of the tractor, to the base of the loader. That's where you're gonna have the most stability. That's where you're gonna have the most lift capacity. So that's a really important feature there and not something that you wanna overlook. I really like the ease of operation as well. There is no additional thumb control. There's no additional lever. There's nothing additional required. Yeah, it does work a little bit differently than a regular grapple would, a traditional grapple. However, it totally functions like you need it to do. You have the flexibility with the bottom jaw there to position it how you want. You can make it more level and flat with the ground, or you can make it more perpendicular with the ground. Guys, well, I hope you found this helpful. Again, a little field test here. I don't have a whole lot going on right now, but pretty soon we're going to be gearing up to move over to our new place, and I hope to have a lot of work, a lot of great videos coming there with some field work you know some implements and action and that kind of thing as well should be a lot of fun i would encourage you to subscribe to my channel below i would really appreciate that and as always go over to goodworkstractors.com i'd love to help you out with a new tractor and attachment put together a whole package for you we can help with delivery and financing as well so if you like watching these videos and you want to support the channel but you don't need a new attachment you don't need a new tractor there's still a way you can help no, not through a donation, but I do have an Amazon store, and there's a link below in the description in the comment section as well. I put a lot of good stuff there for the shop, for the farm, for tractors if you already have one here. You know, upgrade your lights to LEDs, get a new set of gloves. So I only recommend things that I use and that I love, that I like myself. You won't find anything on there that I don't like. Things are updated all the time there as I get new products and add them there as well. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.